You're watching WMAR 2 News. Good evening and thanks for streaming WMAR 2 News headlines on your favorite device. I'm Kelly Swoop. Well, sadly, we're reminded again of how big of a sacrifice our first responders make every day. A fire at a home on Ball Road in Imesville broke out as storms and lightning slammed Frederick County Wednesday afternoon. Fire Captain Josh Laird was on the first arriving truck and he was one of the first in the house. Laird went into the front door and fell through the first floor to the basement. Rescue crews got him out and he was flown to the Washington Hospital Center where he passed away. Eileen Rice lives across the street. And I went out in the driveway to see where the smoke was coming from and then I heard the crackling. And I thought, oh my God, their house is on fire. So I ran back in the house and got my cell phone called 911 and uh, reported it. Captain Laird was a 21 year veteran of the fire department. Funeral arrangements will be announced at a later date. They called their nonprofit the Don't Be a Bully Rescue, but now the owners are facing animal neglect charges after 27 sick dogs seized from the property in Whitehall died. Prosecutors say under the guise of saving animals, Rachel Evans and her boyfriend, Austin Duncan, knowingly put them at risk and made a quick buck. So animals are not inventory and you have to treat them humanely and make sure that they have proper veterinary care. When you act as a rescue, that's your job and you should know better. And if you don't treat animals well, then you get charged. It appears the couple helped start an outbreak of deadly distemper here by bringing the sick animals across state lines from Texas. And we're looking at another hot and humid day where a heat advisory was just issued for your Friday by the National Weather Service as temperatures soar towards the mid 90s in the afternoon with feel like temperatures above 105. We are also tracking showers and thunderstorms returning to the forecast as daytime highs hit 98 here in the city, 97 in Thurmont, 95 in Elkton and Easton. And as we head into the weekend, decreasing temperatures, but I'm tracking showers and thunderstorms for your Saturday as a cold front slides through overnight into your Sunday morning. That's going to have temperatures falling into the 80s for much of next week. Unfortunately, that front's going to stall out and keep rain chances around till next Thursday. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. And also for news and weather while you're on the go, don't forget to download the WMER2 News app in your app store. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.